Ooh, bubble wrap. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the new StackMat G5 Pro timer. I'm really excited for this unboxing because I've heard a lot about this timer and of course, not all of it was good. So I decided to try it out for myself. Let's go ahead and open this up. I have to admit, the fact that this doesn't actually have a box is kind of disappointing because most of the other unboxings I've done of cubes and other stuff, they usually do have a box. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but maybe it's something that StackMat or SpeedStacks can work on for their next timer. Here we have the timer itself, as well as the little instruction pamphlet. Let's go ahead and look at what's in here. We have all of the stuff about the timer, but I'm gonna go over all of this verbally so you don't have to read it. First of all, let's address the largest change that this timer has overcome. The fact that you can write your name now. Nah, I'm just joking. Of course, you can write your name now, but I'm pretty sure the largest change that you all have noticed is the thumb pad. Now, you've probably seen other reviews of this, so it's pretty obvious what they do. Instead of needing two pads to start the timer, you now need all four pads. I'm gonna be going over this a little bit more in just a second, but first let's go over some of the basic functionality. In order to turn it on, you simply just press the power button. Bruh. Well, you're supposed to press the power button, but you also have to pull this thing out if it's new. It does come with batteries installed, so you don't have to worry about that. Now that we have this thing out, the power button should work. And there we go, we have the time, and it also says four pad at the bottom. In order to start the timer, place your thumbs here, your palms here, wait until it turns green, lift, do your solve, whatever, stack your cups, I don't know, call for um, contact services back, and it will stop and show your time. Another major change that the G5 timer has is the fact that just tapping the reset button doesn't work anymore. And this is to prevent accidental resets. What you have to do now is hold it down for slightly longer. I believe it's half of a second. And there we go, the time resets. When you're cubing or speed stacking or whatever, when you're stopping the timer, if you accidentally hit this button in cubing, that would count as a DNF, which is really unfortunate, especially if you get a good solve. In order to stop this, StackMat has added the delay so that well, just accidentally tapping it really fast wouldn't actually reset the timer. Similarly, just tapping the power button again won't turn it off. You're gonna need to hold it for a little bit longer. There we go. I believe if you're turning it on, a simple tap will do. Another small change that StackMat has made was instead of having two LEDs, it now only has one, which changes color. You may know from the StackMat G4 or a lot of other timers that we usually have two LEDs. When you first rest the hands on, well, you need four now, it turns red, and the equivalent would be that the first LED turns on. Put it on a little bit longer, it turns green. That would be the equivalent of two lights turning on. Now it only has one light, which means we can actually save some space on the timer. When you're not solving, the status light will turn blue, and that's only on four pad mode. If you switch it over to two pad mode, which I'll show you guys how to do in just a second, it will become yellow. So if you look at the back of the timer, it says hold five seconds, two pad, bi-directional arrow, four pad. So what we have to do is simply hold the reset button down for that specified amount of time. And obviously it's a long duration, so you don't accidentally do it. As you can see, the LED is now yellow. So now we don't need the thumb pads anymore. You can just do this like a normal you know, G4 or whatever other timer you have. There we go. You may notice that the time blinks three times and that's to help the stack mat judges or whatever, like the speed stacking judges, to know that you're on two pad because now in speed stacking, you actually have to have the four pads and that's just to make sure that the speed stackers don't cheat or whatever. Another thing that changed in a G5 timer was the fact that they removed a save and I guess you can call it the menu buttons. So this is a Moe timer, obviously it's not the same brand, but the G4 timer basically worked the same way. Let's say you get a good time. 
what I can do is press the save button and you know save it into the system and now when you you know do other solves you can actually view your previously saved times while pressing this little white button like this they've actually removed this feature on the g5 and i i believe it's partially because not a lot of people use it i've watched a couple of reviews i think one of them said that they hardly used feature and I personally don't really use it either because you can just always take a picture of CS timer or just your soul so I believe they made the right choice here finally there's also this new you know wire threading thing as well as the new clamps or knobs essentially what they've done is instead of sliding the timer on you can now just press the timer on onto the mat if you have a compatible one which I don't happen to have one right now as for the wire, it's to prevent your timer, you know, accidentally unplugging when you're solving or speed stacking. You now have to put the wire through in the plug right here and thread it through this thing. The one thing that I actually slightly dislike about this timer is how I, I've mentioned that whenever you stop time, it flashes like this. However, when it's flashing, you actually can't reset the timer. So if I do this, attempt to reset, it won't let me reset until the flashing is finished. It's not that big of an issue, but again, it kind of ruins the, I guess you can say it's a lot, it's a lot faster if I can just reset the timer while it's flashing. But again, it might be due to the fact that the speed stacks judges or whatever have to look at the flashes. Finally, to end everything off, let's just try out a salt. Take a look. There we go. That's about it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to put them down below. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.